Good morning, boys and girls, moms and dads. Welcome to Sunday School on this first Sunday in, yes it is, it's May. Wow! So hopefully you had a chance to take a look at the supplies that we need for this morning and let's get into today's Sunday School lesson. Today we're going to learn how we fight evil with salvation. Um, here is our knight and God has an evil enemy, but the enemy can never beat God. God gives us armor. We've been talking about this each and every week, just like a knight has, to fight God's evil enemy. God gives us this armor to protect us and defend ourselves against the devil. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about uh, the helmet of salvation. Salvation. That's a big word. And you know what? I was thinking about that word salvation, and uh, you may have never heard of this word before, but part of that word is the word salve. Moms and dads, you've heard that before. What is a salve? Now, kids, you probably are like, I've never heard of it before, but you've actually used it. Have you ever gotten a sunburn? I do. You probably put a lotion or a salve on it. Or if you've had a cut and you put a salve on it to help it to heal. It's kind of interesting. Heal, protect, to make whole again is kind of what a salve is for. And it's part of that word salvation. So anyways, we're going to learn more about that big word salvation as we dig into God's word this morning. So, but before we get going, let's take a moment and grab your leftover aluminum foil and let's make a helmet for our night. I hope your night is starting to look pretty well protected. Um, fighting evil with salvation means that we're friends with God. He's always there to protect us. That's very exciting news. That's so exciting news. So let's do something exciting. Let's talk only this morning about exciting news. Let's take a moment and share some wows. What are those exciting, wow, good things that have been happening to you this past week? Let's take a moment and share our wows with each other. Well, I hope you all had really exciting news to share with each other. Today, we're going to hear about a jailer who heard some pretty exciting news. He learned that he could be friends with God and that he could fight evil with salvation. We'll learn more about that today. But before we get into the Bible, let's sing a song about getting into the Bible. Now, before we get into our Bible story, if we have older kids at home, let's really get into the Bible. Open up your Bibles. I'd like you open up your Bibles and read as a family Acts chapter 16, verses 25 to 40. Take turns and hear in God's word about a story about the helmet of salvation and how it's used to, to defend against evil. And then continue on and we will retell this wonderful story together in our own very special way. If you have younger children, let's just continue on and we'll get into our Bible story together. Today we'll continue talking about how God has an enemy. Uh, but we can fight God's enemy with salvation salvation. There's that word again. Salvation means that when we believe in Jesus, he forgives all the wrong things that we've done. He forgives our sins, all of our sins, and we can be best friends with Jesus. God's evil enemy can never take that away from us. He can't take us away from Jesus. Jesus is our friend. What a wonderful thought. Jesus is our friend. I want you to take a moment and discuss what do you like 
about being friends with Jesus. The Bible tells us that our friendship with Jesus is like armor. Think about those different kind of armors that a knight or a soldier might wear. What are they? Now, God's armor isn't anything that we can touch or we can see like a shield or a helmet or a sword, but it helps us to remember that we really, really can trust in God. Another important piece of armor that we're gonna talk about today is a helmet. And for the rest of our time, I'd like you to go find something that you can wear on your head as a helmet. I'm wearing a kid's construction hat, but maybe you don't have one of those. Maybe all you have is a baseball hat, or maybe you actually have a knight's helmet, or maybe a pot or a pan is all you have or a styrofoam bowl, it doesn't matter. Find something that you can wear as your helmet of salvation. The Bible tells us that our friendship with Jesus protects us just like a helmet does. So let's wear our helmets as we act out our Bible story because we can fight evil with salvation. And now, whenever you hear that word salvation, I want you to tap your helmet, okay? Like the helmet of salvation. All right. Now for our Bible story. All clear, General. <laughs> I have my helper with us this morning, Sam. He's got his helmet on, but I'm thinking maybe a different helmet. What do you think, Sam? Fine. <laughs> There you go. He's got a hat on. He's got a hat on. Now, for our Bible study, or our Bible story, you're going to need some items. You're going to need three stuffed animals. So there's one, there's two, and, oh, there he is, number three. You're also going to need a, Sam, you want to hold this, hold one in? You're going to need either a, a towel or a small blanket. And then you're also going to need a paper chain paper chain. So if you haven't gone and gotten those items yet, go ahead, go find three stuffed animals. Two of them you're going to chain together. And then a third one, a small blanket or a, uh, uh, a towel. And um, yeah, so go find the items that you need. The Bible tells us about two friends of God. One's name was Paul, and the other's name was Silas. Silas. And they loved Jesus. And, and, but Paul didn't always love Jesus. You may remember once his name was Saul, and he didn't love Jesus too much. But God rescued him from evil and changed his name to Paul. And here we have Paul and Silas. And they are in jail. In fact, there is, Silas has got the chains on, and we're going to wrap the chains around, around Paul as well. And they were in jail. But they hadn't done anything wrong. In fact, they had helped a slave girl be free. But God's enemy, God's enemy didn't want them helping anybody. And especially God's enemy did not want them talking all about Jesus. Didn't want them talking about Jesus at all. So there they are. They're in jail. And we're using our, uh, our, our towel as the jail cell. You can't really see it too well, but there's our jail cell. And they were in jail. And I'm sure they were just so sad, you know, where they were just really down. No. In fact, the Bible tells us that they sang. They were singing. Now, I don't know what they were singing, but... We can sing a song, right? Here's a song that I bet you you can sing with me right now. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. 
Yeah, you guys know that song. And the jailer, here's our jailer, the jailer, he was listening to them singing. You know what the jailer did? He fell asleep. Put your jailer, if you lift your jailer up and put him down right there. Hopefully he got Paul and Silas in chains and in jail. He's just right there. So there they were, um, the jailer asleep, and they're singing, Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Now, in the middle of the night, there was an earthquake. This is what I need you to do. I need you to grab your blanket and I want you to just kind of shake it a little bit. There was an earthquake, and during the earthquake, the chains holding Paul, oh, there goes Paul, Paul is free, and Silas fell off of them. See if you can get the chains to fall off of Paul and Silas. Go for this right now. And the doors flew open and the chains flew off. I hope you got the chains to come off during that earthquake. Yes, they all fell off. And then the jailer woke up. The jailer woke up and he saw there had been an earthquake and all the doors were open. And oh no, oh no, he was going to be in so much big trouble because you know what it means, doors open all the chains have fallen off, that all the prisoners have probably escaped. Can you say this with me? Oh no, ready? Three, two, one. Oh no! So he was so upset. He was so upset that he was going to hurt himself. He decided he was gonna hurt himself and Paul and Silas, but they jumped up and they stopped and they shouted, ready? Stop! You ready? Three, two, one. Stop! Do you remember that from last week? Remember that shield that we used, that shield of faith, that stop, that stop? He said, stop. Uh, they shouted out, stop, to the jailer. They didn't want him to be hurt. They wanted him to know that Jesus was his friend and to be saved. And that's what the jailer wanted. He wanted to know. He asked him, he goes, what do I need to know? What do I need to know? What do I have to do to be saved? So they told him, believe in Jesus. Believe in Jesus. Paul and Silas, they were Jesus' friends, and they fought evil. Are you ready? Sam, you got to do this. You got to tap your hat. They fought evil, evil with the helmet of salvation. The jailer felt so happy. The jailer felt so happy that he wanted to help Paul and Silas. In fact, he took them, because remember, they were in an earthquake and their chains fell off. He took them and he cleaned their wounds and he helped them to heal. I wonder, maybe, maybe he used a salve. Remember that word in the beginning? Salve? Salvation? I wonder if maybe he did. Then something amazing happened. Something very amazing happened to the jailer. He and his whole family were baptized. Yes, they were baptized. They were baptized. Isn't that great? You thought something else was going to happen. Isn't it great that they were baptized? Now, Sam, do you remember your baptism? No. No, I, you know, I don't really remember my baptism, but you know what? I remember your baptism. Remember the day. You remember the day. You know that day. Uh, we might not remember when we were baptized, but you know, I'd like you right now. I bet you your mom and dads remember when you're baptized, and I'd like you to talk to your mom and dads or your family. Maybe maybe you remember a brother and sister when they were baptized, and I want you to talk about what are some what's something special about the day that you were baptized. Maybe it was someone special who was there, or maybe. 
what day or what time of year. Maybe it was winter or maybe it was spring or summer. Um, maybe, maybe your mom and dads remember you cried the whole time or you didn't say a peep. What are the memories that your family have about your baptism and anybody else's baptism in the room? Um, take a moment and talk about that. Talk about this is something really, really wonderful. And then I want you to do something. I want you to take that jailer because that jailer was baptized. And I want you to make the sign of the cross on his forehead and on his heart, marking him as one redeemed, saved by Christ. Um, because that's something that we did at our baptisms. And then we had the water and God's word that, that washed away all of our sins. So take a moment, talk about baptisms, and uh, kind of take your jailer and, and pretend like you know, you're giving him the sign of the cross on his forehead and on his heart, um, remembering uh, that baptism is a wonderful, wonderful day in our lives. Good, good, dis good discussion. Hopefully that was some good memories shared. You know, the jailer, the jailer even took Paul and Silas home for his meal. I've got a bad feeling about this. Uh... No, no, it's not a bad feeling, feeling you silly. <laughs> Put that other hat on. Uh, Paul and Silas, they shared all about their friend Jesus. It wasn't a bad feeling. It was a good feeling. And like I said, the whole, the whole family of the jailer um, became friends with Jesus too. All of them were now wearing the helmet of salvation. And now they could all fight evil with salvation because they were friends with Jesus. And finally, the jailer's boss, the jailer's boss came around and said that Paul and Silas didn't have to stay in jail any longer. The leader brought them out of jail and Paul and Silas continued to fight evil with salvation by telling others all about their friend Jesus. When we believe in Jesus, it's like wearing a helmet that protects us from God's evil enemy. And we can fight evil, you ready, Sam? With salvation by telling others that we believe in Jesus too. So now, go around the room and tell everybody that Jesus loves you. And tap on the hat. Jesus loves you. Tap him on the hat, that helmet of salvation. Tell everyone that Jesus loves them. Boys and girls, for our closing, uh, I would like for you to make a, make a drawing. Take a piece of paper, find a piece of paper, and maybe draw a picture. Draw a picture of someone that you can share the love of Jesus with. Someone you can tell so that they too can wear the helmet of salvation. So um, you can do that for your closing. And then for your prayer, take your, your picture and use the people in your picture for part of your prayer. It might sound something like this. Um, Jesus, help us share the good news about your salvation, just like you did with Paul and Silas with the jailer, with these very special people who are on our hearts. Share something like that. Take a moment and draw a picture of someone you can share Jesus with. And then close with your blessing. Take your water and do the make your own blessing. Sam and I are going to do a blessing at the very end. Um, don't forget to blow out your candle. You ready, Sam? Yes, ours magically appeared just a little while ago. Um, thank you very much for coming and being with us this morning for Sunday School. I, I certainly pray that you have a blessed week. Um, and uh, finally, after you get done with your closing prayer and your blessing, um, let's conclude with the wonderful song that we've been singing for several weeks. There's power in the blood. Have a blessed day. Sam and I are going to close out with a blessing. You ready, Sam? Jesus saves and loves you so much.
Jesus saves and loves you so much. You want me to hold that for you? Yes. Sam's got a plan. I'm gonna get the bee out here. <laughs> What's the saying again? I forgot. J Jesus saves and loves you so much. Jesus saves. Here's a tiny forehead. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. This was his idea. All right. You got any final words, Samuel? Oh, yeah. The droid army is in full retreat. I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Have a blessed week. Well, that's good. The droid army. <laughs> the bad forces are in retreat. <laughs> oh.